Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted by a grand jury. An indictment means the jury believes there is enough evidence to formally charge someone with a crime. The indictment is related to Trump paying hush money to an adult film star to keep quiet about an alleged affair. Classes are canceled through the rest of the week at Lindhurst High School after a 14-year-old student was found dead on campus this morning. The Yuba County Sheriff's Office believes the student died by suicide. The school will still open to provide access to mental health resources for students. About 80,000 blue pills were found when a car was pulled over in Ripon by the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office. The pills are believed to contain fentanyl. A 37-year-old man driving the car was arrested on narcotics charges. A woman was arrested in Patterson after police say she used a stolen mailbox key to break into cluster boxes and steal mail. The woman was also allegedly found with a meth pipe when she was arrested. Police in Escalon are looking for this man after he broke into a quick serve early this morning. The department says he stole hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise and caused thousands more dollars in damage. If you know who this is, call Escalon Police. A 22-year-old man was arrested in Cobb County, Georgia for a fatal shooting in downtown Turlock. Police named Gary Jackson Jr. as the suspect in the death of a 21-year-old man back on January 14th. He will be sent back to Stanislaus County to face homicide and attempted homicide charges. Two people were arrested and booked into the Solano County Jail after the sheriff's office there says they killed a man in West Sacramento and then tried to dispose of his body by setting it on fire in a field near Vacaville. Officers were able to use cameras to link a car to the body and then arrested the two suspects. Nine service members were killed after two Black Hawk helicopters crashed during a training mission in Kentucky. Investigators are still working to figure out what caused the choppers to crash. The jury sides with actress Gwyneth Paltrow in a civil trial over a 2016 ski crash in Utah. Terry Sanderson claims Paltrow caused the crash and left him with brain damage. The actress claims the suit was an attempt to exploit her celebrity and her wealth. Linden native Aaron Judge got the 2023 MLB season started against his childhood team. The Yankees hosted the Giants for opening day and the Giants were shut out 5 to nothing. They'll have another chance against the Yankees on Saturday. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.